students today i am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given convex mirror using a convex lens my like convex mirror always form a, a virtual image so by direct method it very tough to find the focal length of the given convex mirror so i am going to use the convex lens to determine the focal length of the convex mirror to determine the focal length of the convex mirror i need a two lens stand and two screens and an object here and a scale so using this apparatus i am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given convex mirror so i am going to use this formula the focal length of the given convex mirror f is equal to r by 2 so using this ray diagram i am going to solve this problem so <coughs> what is x the position of the mirror from the source box is x the distance from object to the mirror is x the position of the image from the source box is y so object this is distance from object and image is y so if i subtract these two y minus x i'm getting my radius of curvature of the given convex mirror so if i am able to find my radius of the curvature of the given convex mirror i can find my focal length of the given convex mirror f is equal to r by 2 so using this table i'm going to explain how to find the convex uh, focal length of the given convex mirror so the focal length of the given convex lens is 15 cm so to get the real and wet inverted image i'm going to place my convex lens between f and 2f so the distance from the source is between 15 to 30 so first i'm going to start with the position of the convex lens from the object is i'm going to fix this 20 4 so 24 cm from the object so now i'm going to move my screen from this side up to so at this point i'm getting clear image so so the distance from this point to this point is my y so using this ray diagram so i am able to explain position of the image from the source box is y so the distance from this point to this point is 64 64 cm so now i am going to introduce my convex mirror between the lens and screen here to get the reflected image i need a another screen so i'm going to place my screen here so to get this reflected image here i'm going to move my screen from here See above the screen. So there is a formation of clear and reflected image from the mirror. So now the distance from the mirror from the source box I can simply take this is from this point to the optical center of this mirror is approximately fifty. One. So it's going to be fifty one centimeter. Fifty one centimeter. So I'm going to take the next reading. So I'm going to remove this mirror here, and then I'm going to change my focal length of the uh, the position of the lens from twenty four to twenty six. So now I'm going to move my screen from this point.
so at this point i'm getting the real 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 and clear image from this object to the image distance is from 0 to 62 so my value of y is 62 so now i'm going to introduce my mirror between these two so again i'm going to move from this to get the image on this screen the reflected image on the screen see there is a formation of clear and reflected image on this screen so now i'm going to measure the distance from this point to this point actually my radius of curvature is the distance between these two points so i'm going to take this value from here to this point is approximately 49 it's approximately 49 So, if I subtract my x and y, I am able to find the radius of curvature of the given convex mirror. So next, uh, I am going to repeat the same procedure. So, I am going to change my u value from 26 to 28. So, now again, I have to form a, a clear image. So, now I am getting clear image on the screen. Now, I am going to introduce. the mirror to get the reflected image on this screen so now i'm going to move again look at the screen carefully i'm getting a clear image on the screen so now i'm going to measure the distance from object to first to this screen is from 0 to 60 this is 60 y value is 60 so now object to the mirror the distance is 0 to is approximately 47 so if i'm subtracting these two value i'm getting my radius of curvature using this value i am able to find my focal length of the given convex mirror so my y minus x is 64 minus 51 is 13 13 is my radius of curvature of the given convex mirror so my f is equal to r by 2 i am getting 6.5 similarly i am calculating for all the observations so i am getting the average value of the focal length of the given convex mirror is 6.5 cm so this is how we are able to find the focal length of the given convex mirror so if you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching